we overlook the power that kids can have in the kingdom, they can minister and reach at the same capacity as even adults. I mean, look at some of our examples in the Bible. You have the little boy who had the loaves and fishes. What if the disciples overlooked that little boy? And what if that little boy wasn't open to sharing his lunch? That would have been a missed opportunity to participate in a miracle. And then in 2 Kings, we have King Josiah, who was only eight years old. I know some eight-year-olds, and while they are wonderful, amazing human beings, I don't know if I would picture them as king or queen, but he succeeded his father who did evil in the sight of the Lord. But Josiah tore down those idols and turned people back to the Lord. And of course, one of the biggest examples is David, who was a shepherd boy. Yes, sometimes I feel like we gloss over the word boy. Like he was a grade school kid, maybe a teenager, and his courage and obedience allowed God to work with him and he slayed Goliath. So, you know, I believe that these kids can do great things if given the tools and given the encouragement and if we surrender them to the Lord. And, you know, in Proverbs 22, 6, we know that verse well. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. And I think about training up a child and telling them the right from wrong a lot. But I'm starting to believe that if they know the why behind it as well, that's just as important because children learn by watching. You know, we know they're sponges. They also learn by doing and they, when they can experience things for themselves, I think they get a deeper level of understanding and become more invested and that helps them in their decision-making process for themselves. You know, helping others gives kids a sense of pride and a sense of power in a positive way. And especially when they're little, they don't have much power and that frustrates them. We all know that. But giving them some ownership with giving them tasks and ways to serve is a surefire way to build their self-esteem and have them tap into their God-given talents at an early age. You know, tangible examples of how God works through us how God, sharing God's love can change circumstances, outcomes, and in turn people's lives. It also helps giving them the gift of contentment. Instead of them thinking about what I want, um, how I can get something for myself, we're teaching them um, to achieve feelings of happiness and joy by doing something for somebody else. We're kind of building that reflex that, hey, you know, I can feel fulfilled by reaching out to others instead of always, always, always thinking about what I want for Christmas or what I want for my birthday. You know, take sometimes that focus can get to be too much. So giving them a little bit more of a balance that, hey, giving is in fact better than receiving.